Hey guys, good morning. So it's bright and early on a Saturday morning and I'm headed to Brisbane to complete my mandatory CEMP course. Now this is a course that's held by the RACGP that all new fellows need to complete within six months of entering the country to work as a general practitioner. And essentially what it is, it's the CPR slash ALS course. It includes BLS, um, anaphylaxis, asthma, all sorts of things. Now, traditionally in the UK, uh, GPs, as you know, have to do this mandatory training once a year, which is usually takes form you know, in about one or two hours, usually held by physiotherapists or held in practice where you're working. However, in Australia, it's a little bit different. So I've had to wake up nice and bright and early to attend an eight hour, eight hour, eight hours. Don't worry guys, I'll be letting you know exactly what we get taught and whether it's worth doing it. But actually you have to do it anyway, so it's mandatory. Never mind, it's onwards and upwards. Let's go to Brisbane, check out the eight hour CEMP course that costs $1,500 that is mandatory for all new fellows in Australia. So it's like a treasure hunt to find this course. Where's end block? It's really quite fun actually. So we've just gone through what to do in a cardiac arrest. We've done advanced airways as well. So it's all very fun and exciting. We've now just started to go onto the drugs and after the break, we'll be doing other scenarios such as asthmatic scenarios, anaphylaxis, and what to do in other clinical emergencies. So pit stop for some lunch and then it's back to hard work again. end of the CEMP intermediate course for the RACGP fellowship that is mandatory. It was quite an interesting fun event. Um, so in the latter half of the event we went through all of the case case scenarios in terms of anaphylaxis, asthma management, respiratory distress and in the morning we also did the cardiac arrest side of things as well. So just a couple of comparisons between the UK versus Australia. So pretty much the CPR is all the same wherever you go worldwide. Um, in terms of the actual course itself, fantastic course. It was held by one facilitator who looks after 10 of us all together. And yeah, we just went through everything. So there's nothing there that you don't know about. Everything you've already done before in the past, but it's a good reminder and a good refresher so that when you're in your general practice, if you do come across somebody who's coming with a cardiac arrest or any breathing difficulties, you know exactly what to do. And of course, it comes with a handbook, which is really useful. Lots of course handouts. And what I found really interesting as well, or really useful, that I'm going to be sticking up on my wall, is what to do. Because obviously when you do have a patient who's presenting quite unwell, your brain is going to get flustered and you're going to forget. So you've got all of these lovely flow charts just to give you a visual aid and a prompt. Dr. S A B C D, as, as you know already. And probably the most satisfying thing, of course, with any of these courses is the certificate of attendance, which looks quite fancy. <laughs> so I'll be popping that straight into my portfolio. So the CPR will last you for one year. So you have to do this course every year, just as a refresher. You don't necessarily have to do this particular course. You can go to other CPR events. As long as you are just keeping up your BLS. This course was BLS and ALS together. So that's the basic life support and the advanced life support, uh, which is really interesting and really useful because you're looking at how to put in airways such as a nasopharyngeal airway, airway a Goodell or an LMA. So it's a good refresh and a good reminder. We went through the defibrillator, how to use a defibrillator and all of the drugs and things that you need to use in medical emergencies. Now, what I'm really excited about is showing you what's inside this box and just stay tuned because this is going to be so much fun. So 
colleague or someone with you to the trip and they can't go into the course or they're not going into the course, they can always hang out in the library, which is open from 9 till 5 p.m. However, there aren't any coffee shops, they're all closed on the weekends. So every delegate receives one of these CPR kits. So let's have a look inside. It's really quite exciting. It's probably the highlight of the day. <laughs> okay, so inside this box, you get person I'll show you why you get a CD or a DVD you get a pretend atrial fibrillation machine pretend remote control this is really useful if you want to tell your friends or your family how to perform CPR so it acts as an educational training resource so you blow him up like so Right. Perfect. Now you can simulate CPR in for your friends, for your practice, and you can show them how to do it. So obviously, as you know, you check the airway, you'd have a look inside, make sure they're not breathing. It clicks. And then, obviously you do 30, and then you can breathe into his lungs. How cool is that? That's awesome. So you can demonstrate this to your friends, your family, how to do CPR, so you spread the word of BLS so that everybody's fully informed, and then you can even talk through them what you do if you've got uh, an atrial fibrillation device nearby. And even if you wanted to, you can even watch the DVD. So I've got to say this is probably the coolest thing I've received ever, um, like my own little Annie to do BLS on, so I can't wait to show my friends how to do this, and I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step process or a step-by-step -step guide how to do CPR for you and for your family members and for anybody in the street so that you know you're fully informed on basic life support. So stay tuned and of course, take care and stay healthy.